Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is a much requested what I eat in a day video. I thought I would put kind of a unique spin on this one and just show you the purposes of what I eat. I am an intuitive eater and I do believe everything I put in my body serves a purpose. I want to note that this video is purely for inspiration. As a full-time model living in London, I have a very tumultuous and busy life. So sometimes I eat at home, I like to cook my own meals, but there is a lot of times where I am out of the house and I have to eat out and I try to make some healthy, balanced decisions for myself. We are all unique and we all have our own needs and hunger and I want you to honor that. So the one thing that I have without fail every morning is my tablespoon of sea moss, which is shown to boost the immune system, support healthy digestion, promote thyroid function, and aid in weight management, support the heart, brain health, and improve energy levels. It also has around 96 of the 102 minerals our body needs, so period. And then I take the rest of my vitamins, which I can go into more depth in other videos. My number one go-to without fail breakfast is oatmeal with a protein powder this one is a very nutrient dense one with chlorophyll and a bunch of minerals in it so i really like the nutrient profile that this one has and then i have my oat milk americano and i almost always have like 10 tablespoons of peanut butter actually like one and a half and then i add some type of yogurt for probiotic then i went for some quick pilates with my bestie and had a casting after this so i had to get some lunch to go i love getting these salad rolls in rice paper i got a lot of chicken salmon with some peanut satay sauce love peanut butter i don't know if you see the trend here but amazing for dinner, I usually like to have some type of healing, nourishing, super thick rice bowl. I love to add these boundless activated nuts because they're really good for your gut health. And then I also have it with a kombucha, which is a really good prebiotic. I love to add something fermented. This one had some hummus for extra protein. And then I cooked some tofu and just threw all the leftover veggies I had. This was kind of the end of my grocery week. And I love to sit on the ground and eat it. This is something that we do in our culture. And I think it's just really... A healing moment and then i almost always have a square of dark chocolate my super food oats with protein again because i had a busy day and i feel like this just keeps me really full and nourished this day was a shoot day for me so it's definitely a rest day usually shoots take a long time so i don't really get time to go to the gym unless i go in the morning and it was a really rainy day so i was really craving something wholesome and hearty and one of the girls on set got us this turkish pancake i think it's called goslame or something and then i paired it with a turmeric latte that i make with coconut oil and cinnamon and it was just very healing i really needed something that would warm up my body and this one had really good feta cheese in it i think and it was absolutely amazing i just sat there and bundled up in a blanket for a bit and i was absolutely from this it was a very filling meal i would definitely have it again then i had my strawberry basil kombucha as a prebiotic and for dinner i picked up a bowl from addis this is very similar to what i made yesterday for dinner but it was just a quick little tofu bowl with tempeh and then i had some chipotle lime chips and then i finished it off with some pistachio dark chocolate that i picked up from milan when i was there for modeling and it was amazing Dark chocolate is a great thing to have at night, it calms you down and it is an amazing antioxidant. Acai is an antioxidant rich superfood that may prevent cells from damage. And you knew it was coming, it's Friday and I treat myself to this one, two or three times a week is a acai bowl from one of my best friend's spots. I get extra peanut butter, protein and I just cannot get enough. I could eat this every day. And then I get a matcha latte for coconut milk and I also want to know I have a lot of water throughout the day. I'm super busy and I think that hydrating myself is very important. Then I headed to my favorite part of the week, my boxing session, and I find that it's really important for me to nourish myself after these workouts. They're very strenuous, and sometimes I can get away with a thick protein smoothie, but after this, I'm usually craving a lot of fats, protein, carbs. I do not track my food, but I always follow my cravings, and weirdly enough, I thought a bowl of oatmeal would be the most satiating. I added protein powder, maca, extra peanut butter, yogurt, and then I had kind of a protein froth latte. And then for dinner, I had this really chill, quick macaroni pasta. I made it with pea protein pasta and it actually had 30 grams of protein in it. And then I added some nutritional yeast for B12 and some tomato puree that I made from scratch. Finished the night off with a dark chocolate protein square. 
I'm sure you could have guessed it. I had oatmeal this morning and it was actually fun because I tried a new topping. I mixed peanut butter with pineapple and it was amazing. I had some banana and got to some work. I always try to do some breath work before I eat and really share some gratitude for the food that's in my plate and all of the things that went into gathering it. I had a super busy week so I really felt like going to the sauna, getting all of my lymphatic drainage system going and stretching. I spent this time to be super intentional, think about my entire week, the things that I did, the things that I'm going to do for the weekend and think about the things that serve my body. This is a practice that I do for food, movement and anything that I do in my living and I think that intuitive living is the best lifestyle for me. If you want to track your goals, track your macros, that's completely up to you. I understand that people do this to reach a certain goal and I think it's really important to just lean into what works for you. I've felt the best and looked the best in my opinion when I am really just listening to my body and listening to its needs. And this day it really felt like I needed a thick protein smoothie with a lot of peanut butter. Then after I headed home and made my infamous almond flour banana bread, the recipe is actually on my website and it's one of my favorite things. It's extremely nourishing. You can have it as a breakfast. It has a lot of nutrients in it. And after that, I got my weekly wood-fired pizza with chicken and all of the arugula balsamic vinegar. Yum. Balance is the key to a sustainable life. Now, it's kind of unfortunate because I neglected this part of my life for so long with restriction and the pressures of the modeling industry. On top of that, I get invited to so many complimentary dinners like this where I get five-star meals, five-course dinners, and I get to experience it with some of the most beautiful people around the world in different places. And I cannot share with you enough that experiencing food through culture is one of the most beautiful things that you can do. You need to allow yourself to have those meals with your friends and just don't feel guilty about it. Food guilt is one of the most terrible things you can do to yourself and food freedom is something that is an absolute privilege. You guys, if I eat more, I will explode. I'm gonna be sick. It's I am very cold. <laughs>